Well, hello. Today's video, I went a little bit Mrs. Doubtfire there, didn't I? Well, hello. Um, yeah, I'm not from uh, north of Scotland, so I don't know why I did that. But anyway, let us continue. Today's video is a little uh, run through of my kit. Hang on, my cat is just playing my computer. Hang on, what are you doing? Come here. What is it? Don't say hello to the camera. Give me yours, you can go. Come here, she doesn't like to be held. You can tell that she doesn't like to be held. What is it? Can you say hello? Oh. She might murder me after this. Mightn't you? Uh, this video is a little run through of my travel kit, um, of my art supplies and a travel kit of journaling supplies that I'm going to be taking with me on a trip to Berlin. It will be my first time in Berlin. I'm going for a week. It's my first holiday or break away for three years. It was the last three and a half years. Uh, was the last time I went away and uh, this will be my first solo holiday I think ever like ever in my adult life I don't I've never been away just on my own so this is my opportunity to go away um, I wanted to just go and sit in cafes and drink some coffee and take my sketchbook and just you know do some observational sketches of the city um, go to some art galleries go back to a cafe have some more coffee have some cake do some more sketches and pretty much do that for seven days in a row that is the ideal, that is what I'm hoping to do. So I thought I'd put together a little travel kit uh, of sketching supplies and also a travel kit of journaling supplies. Not for kind of traditional journaling, but actually for to keep a travel journal, which I've also never done. So this, these, uh, these little videos will uh, take you through what I've got in my kit and I'll do a little bit of swatching of certainly of the art supplies. And um, yeah, and then hopefully when I come back from Berlin, I'll be able to um, put together a video of a vlog basically of my time there and what I actually ended up using and didn't use because I mean that's inevitable right you take loads of things with you and you don't use half of them so it'll be really uh, a really good exercise for me to see what I use what I don't use what is you know what is not unnecessary um, I've probably taken too many things um, but yeah we, we shall see how we go anyway so uh, yeah enjoy the video um, there is some footage of Minxie in it obviously because you have to have some cats and I might actually have some footage of some other cats and a Vassy as well so yeah anyway enjoy the video okay so this is the small pouch of goodies that I'm going to be taking with me to Berlin for uh, my short city break there for a week and this is this consists of all of my kind of sketching and urban, urban sketching, painting, etc. type stuff. So I'm gonna take you through what I've got in here. The pouch itself is a Delphonics pouch. It comes from, or at least I bought it from a website called Cute Things from Japan. It comes in small, medium and large. And I think that uh, the small size kind of suits me for what I need in terms of my actual sketching stuff. I have a medium size one as well that I'm going to show you. Um, for my journaling supplies um, but uh, this is the sketching one so let's have a little look of what we've got in here um, I'm going to take everything out and then we can kind of go through it okay so I have got two of these clips for obviously holding holding things together I've got a small let's see if it'll come out I've got a small little travel pouch of um, <clears throat> watercolour paintbrushes which go together like that and I'm going to do a little swatchy session with them and so we can see what they look like because I haven't actually swatched them yet or tried to use them yet so I don't actually know Oops. so I don't actually know what they're like so we'll give that a go in a second we'll put that back in there so we've got that little pouch pouch I have got this um, Karen Ash a um, little set of kind of wax watercolour crayons. So these are really nice in that they can give you like a, like a, you know, a wax crayon effect basically if you wanted to kind of create something quite quick and quite kind of like basic. Um, but you can also um, activate these with water and you can get kind of watercolour effects as well which is really, really nice. They're just, um, it's just a nice something different, different medium to kind of work in um, and it kind of helps you work a little bit looser as well 
sometimes I get like really pernickety um, with like a with a pen and I try to get lots of detail and all that kind of malarkey when I shouldn't be. I should just basically be just getting down a scene and getting a vibe of a place. And that it, these certainly help you do that. So that's um, that's why I'm taking these with me. So that, that's that. What else have we got in the front here? We're nothing else in the front. In the back, I've got my watercolor set, which is a Windsor and Newton watercolor set. Um, I've used this quite a bit, so it's a little bit messy. I need to actually give it a good wipe and a clean out so that it's ready for me to go, um, which I will do before I actually head off. So there's that. Pop that there for a second. Right, let's take everything out of here. So the first instance, We've got these watercolour brushes, which are activated by the water. I have never used these, so I'm going to give them a go. I've got three brush sizes to test, see how they go. I've got some water in them already. We'll see how we get on with those. I've got a little... I was looking for a travel sharpener because all the sharpeners I've got, for some reason, they're either tiny and... I hate them, they don't sharpen very well, um, or they're big clunky things. So this is really cool in that it's got a little eraser on it and it's got two sizes of um, sharpeners. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah there we go. Um, so that's quite handy. Um, we've got a little spritzy activator thing, which I don't know if you can see. It's um, a little water bottle with a little spritz on it and that's how you kind of activate your... Um, watercolours, which again I will demonstrate in a second. So what else have we got in here? Okay, so we've got all of my Million Micron pens. I've got five of them. Um, I have a 03, a 05 and a 08, which gives me kind of various kind of um, nib sizes for um, you know, just kind of fine liner black pen, black fine liner pens basically. Where am I, where am I going here? You go so you can maybe see the pen the nib there, not the pen. Um, there we go, and then I've got a brush, which is, oh yeah, oh, that's not good, let me see, there we go, uh, is that focusing, probably not, anyway it's a brush pen, um, and just a regular pen which I might use to sketch with, but I might actually also use it to um, work with in my journal, so they're really really handy, and these, um, as far as I know, when you, um, yeah, they are. So when you basically draw with them, if you once you've done your kind of outline, if you then come over the top with watercolour, they're not going to bleed. So they're water water resistant, waterproof, if you like. So I've got those. And then what else have we got? Okay, we've got all of these. Which, do you know, I've had these in my drawer for about a million years. Uh, not a million years, but for ages and ages. They were gifted to me by a friend of mine who was having a studio clear out. And I am... Um, I've never used them. So they're Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens and they're also kind of brush brush point um, colour pens basically, um, markers almost. Um, Indian ink, waterproof, highly light fast. They're actually really, really good quality. So I'm going to use these as markers for um, for kind of uh, for colour in my sketches as well. Um, I didn't have a huge range of colour so I'm basically just taking what I think. So it's, you know, kind of greys and browns and black for kind of, you know, buildings and stuff like that and then some greens and a blue and an orange for details on for people, I guess. So yeah, really handy to have those. Let's put those there. Um, I have got, let's see. I've got a regular 2B pencil, um, which I like, it's nice and soft for sketching with. Um, and I've also got my little mechanical pencil as well, Pentel, um, which is really handy, nice fine point on that. <coughs> <clears throat> then I've got, oh, hang on a second, I've got another micron, it's a zero one. I'm not sure I'm going to need this many microns, I should probably just choose which ones are going to be the better ones. And then I've got some colour pencils. Now, again, I probably don't need this many colour pencils, um, but I, uh, I like to just give myself some choices. Um, I'm sure this is the first time I've ever actually taken this many supplies somewhere to, like a first city break, to do some sketching. The whole purpose of my trip is to be doing some sketching and to do some kind of observations in an urban environment and um, so I just want to give myself some options. I probably will come back from the trip having realised that I didn't need as quite as much as this. You know, maybe two microns and a watercolour set and that would probably do. But um, 
I want to give myself some options. I don't mind carting this stuff around. Um, it's not that heavy. I'm sure I'll manage. But um, yeah, so let's, if we just move this out of the way for a second, you can kind of see the color pencils that I'm choosing. These are Caran uh Luminance pencils, apart from that one and that one. I just want to tell you about those in a second. So I've got some green. So I've got a kind of a dark green and a sap green and a kind of olive green. That'll do for plants and uh, trees and etc. I've got like a dark kind of browny red kind of color. I've got a nice bright red. I've got some a dark blue and a light blue. And I've got an orange and a yellow. And I think those are going to be sufficient for kind of what I want to use them for. Again, I probably won't use them a lot, but it's worth having them. And then I've got like a white pastel pen pencil and a white um, aquarelle pencil as well for highlights. But um, we shall see what I do with those. Um, yeah, so that's everything that's in this pouch. Um, let's do the journaling pouch and then we'll do some, uh, some swatching, some testing of some of this kit that I've got. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to test out are these water, watercolor paintbrushes that have got water in them. So I have never used these before. This is a thick, that's a thicker nib. This is a very fine nib. And this one is a kind of medium nib. So let's just try them. Like I said, I've never ever tried these. So let's go, let's go for the thicker one first and let's choose orange. So I guess you have to squeeze, squeeze the water. Oh, there we go. Squeeze the water. I guess it's all going to be about um, how much water you actually use at any given time. Oh, motorbike in the background. Apologies for that. Right, go away motorbike. Okay, so the motorbike has buggered off. It seems like with these, what you do just to clean the kind of paint off them is you just use a rag, which I've got here, and you just squeeze the water out and then you just rub the, the, the tip and then obviously it just cleans, the, cleans the, the nib for you as you go. This is the super fine nib, so I'm gonna try a blue. Let's try the dark blue here. See, it does, you, I think you've got to be careful how much water you squeeze out because I think it does squeeze out quite a bit. I quite like the the fineness of this one for detail I wanted to write with it it's quite pretty yeah that's quite nice but um so <clears throat> I think what I'll probably do <clears throat> excuse me so I think what I'll probably do is take the fine nibbed one. Let's make sure that does. The fine nibbed one and the larger ones, because then that gives me some that gives me some options. Um, and just leave this one at home so that I'm not carrying a million trillion things with me. So we'll put that one away. So I'll be taking this one with me. What I'm also going to try is these little ones. So this is the. It doesn't say what size it is. Oh no, it does actually, hang on. So this is a size, oh gosh, my, my, this is a size four round. Okay, let's try. Got a bit of water here. Um, let's just try the red again. It's a lovely brush. Lovely brush. And these little travel brushes have got, I don't think you'll be able to see that with the reflections of the light or whatever, but it's got a little hole in the top of it so that when you put your brush back in, it's not gonna go off or moldy or anything because there's some air to dry it out. But I'm going to dry these out as I use them because I like to do that. Usually with my brushes, um, I would give them a wipe um, on the cloth before I put them away anyway. So, <clears throat> let's see, I'll 
I'll use a little bit of blue here. This is a super fine, super fine line. It's really pretty. These are nice quality brushes. I can't even remember what they are, but I'm, I will put a description of everything that I've got in the description box below so that you have an idea as to what it is I've used. Okay, so sorry, I'm gonna let that dry out. Let's try. I don't know, this is like a square flat. This would be good for like brick detail or something, I guess, if you are using. If you were going to do like little bricks. On a house. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. And the last one is it's kind of a larger flat brush, so let's try this. Let's try this in yellow. This will be nice for kind of okay, get bigger washes, I guess. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, so we've tried out those brushes. Um, we don't really need to try out the little, this activating thing, but I suppose I can show you how it works. So you just kind of like go like that on your paint, and then that would kind of activate them ready for you to kind of start. Um, so you're not having to use, or if you don't have access to tons of water, I guess this kind of gives you the option. Um, as I've got some water in here, I'll probably fill these up before I go out. Um, if I'm somewhere where I don't have access to water, that's kind of gives you that extra advantage. So those are those. I'm gonna put those away for a second. So what else I'm gonna show you? Oh, let me show you these uh, these ones here. So we'll start with the black. So this has got like quite a th thick little nib on it. It's kind of like similar to the fine liners that I would use. Um, so that's going to be helpful for, you know, if I want to use more detail for black. These are, again, the more kind of, the more br kind of brush pen type style. So that's the brown. That's the grey, which gives me some nice, nice light grey for shadow and detail, actually. Not detail, shadow. Apologies. That's a nice dark green which you, know, you can layer over to kind of give you more depth. As it dries, you can keep kind of adding to it. And a paler green, more kind of like, it's actually a brighter lime green. And then the blue, gives me some options for water or sky. And this kind of orangey red, which is nice. So those are some good options for some markers. Pop this over there. So my fine liners. Again, let's go with the uh, zero one is a super fine line. I don't even know if you can see that super fine. Zero one. I think my 03 is actually a little bit buggered, so I might not take that one with me. I'm gonna put that over there. That was that was easy. So 05, which is my kind of preferred size nib for um for drawing. It's got quite a nice it's quite thick but not too thick. Um 08 is almost gonna be a bit thicker again. Yeah, that gives you a much thicker line, which is good. And then you've got the brush pen, which is good for, I guess, for some solid blacks. And then this is just the pen, which it seems is running low on ink. Yeah, it is, so I am actually not gonna take that either. There is no point carrying something that I can't use. 
Um, I can't really detail this white pen. Maybe I'll maybe get some detail over the top. No, no, you can't really see that. This is probably also not worthwhile taking, but we'll take it anyway. Um, okay, so the pencils. Let's go for the greens and the pencils. We'll go for the dark green first. This watercolour paper is a little bit textured, so it doesn't really... It might not show up so nicely, but that's okay. That green. This more kind of sap green colour. Olivey, olivey brown. And then I have a darker brown. That's the greens and browns. And then the blues. This is more kind of like a midnight tea blue, which is nice. And then I'm working with a sky blue cyan. What colour is this? Doesn't say. Does it say? Chrysocola. Chrys Chrysocola. Chrysocola blue. Right, there you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was not easy to see. Um, and a nice red. Orange, my favorite. And a good yellow. Yeah, so got some options there. And then this is my just this is my no, this isn't a 6B, this is a 2B pencil, which is which is really nice and soft. Super soft. This is really nice for kind of like fine line work that you can kind of then erase if you need it and then the mechanical pencil kind of is quite soft as well actually and it just gives you a little bit more precision and no need for sharpening obviously so that's helpful right so those are my all of my uh, supplies for sketching um, I will also show you the sketchbook that I'm going to take with me and let me just find it Okay, so this is, I'm going to put this out of the way. So this is a moleskin um, sketchbook. It's one of the ones, uh, it's one of the formats of sketchbooks I've been using for a while now, um, which I quite enjoy. It's, I like the size, I like the square, I like the square format. Um, it's got hard back at the back, but it's a soft cover at the front, which is really handy. Um, I put some London stickers on it because I was originally only going to be doing London stuff in here, but actually I decided I'm going to take this with me to Berlin. So I've got a couple of little sketches of London in here that I've done already, um, but I am going to continue and hopefully complete the sketchbook, um, or at least a lot of it, while in Berlin. So yeah, that is, uh, that is the sketchbook I'm taking. I'm only taking this sketchbook. I'm not taking anything else. I may buy some more sketchbooks while I'm in uh, Berlin, but um, I probably will try and limit myself to just one or two because I don't want to be carrying around millions of them. So that is the art-based supplies for Berlin. So I have already shown you my uh, pouch uh, that I'm taking with me for my sketching supplies. I'm also going to be taking these with me for to do some travel journaling. Um, I'm not taking my main journal with me. I'm just going to concentrate on doing a travel journal, which is really just going to be documenting my day to day and um, kind of my thoughts, and my feelings and maybe doing um, some sketches in there as well. But um, I will be predominantly doing the sketching from the sketching pouch and the sketchbook and then my journaling will be in this. So it's a good proper travel journal, which again, I haven't really done very much of. So this is going to be quite exciting to do. So again, a Delphonics pouch. This is the medium size. I'm going to show you the size of it in comparison to the, the little pouch. So that's the little pouch, I guess. Yes, yeah, so if you have a look, 
definitely standing up. So the little pouch is this, and this is the medium size, and that's the small. So let's just uh, show you what we have got in here. In the front, I have got my three favourite fountain pens. And these are <laughs> Twisbys. I had completely forgotten what they were for a second there. Um, these are Twisby Echoes, ECO, and they come from Taiwan. I have got a, this one I think is a, oh, which one's this? This is the wide nib one. Um, and I think these, one is fine nibbed and one is, I think the this green one is the fine nib and this is the medium nib. This has got a, an ink in it called uh, Writer's Blood, which is by a brand called Diamond. I will, again, I will link all of the inks that I've got and the brand of this um, fountain pen. This is like a kind of a, a kind of dark teal green ink and this is a kind of like a purpley magenta y colour. It's really, really quite nice. So those are my three favourite fountain pens. Um, I've got like a little rose gold clip. Here comes Minx because she always has to find out what's going on. Minx, don't drink that water, please, because it had watercolour paint in it. Thank you very much. That's very good. So I've just got one of these little clips for just in case I need it. Um, uh, in the front here, I have got, let's have a look. I've got a couple of packets of Canon zinc paper. I think it's 10, 20, there's 30 there. I'll probably get take another pack as well so I've got 40 um, so that I can take photographs um, and print them on my little printer which I will show you in a second that's just the paper in the front have I got something in here oh yeah I have these are like little iron-on patches that I'm actually going to iron on and I'm going to put on the pouch at some point um, if I manage to do that and record it I will show you but otherwise a little crow and a little uh, little cloud yeah and then in the front here, oh, oh, we have got some washi tape. <sighs> Obviously, you don't want to be taking massive rolls of washi tape with you when you go and travel. So these little things are really handy, these little like, cards that you can kind of just wind some washi tape around. And I've just got a selection of things that I want to kind of take with me. Have I got anything in the back? Oh, yes, I do. So this is going to be both handy but also going to be... Um, of use when I want to actually tear out bits of the map to put in map this way, that way. So this is a map of Berlin. Um, so if I want to tear out bits of the map to actually put it in my travel journal, which a lot of people do with their traveling, um, I might not do that until after I've been to Berlin <laughs> because I might actually need the map when I'm there. Um, I know that everyone has Google Maps on their phone and I'll be able to do that. But say for instance, I'm completely stuck without Wi-Fi somewhere. If I've got a map, it's going to be super easy. Um, I am staying with friends in Berlin, so I will be able to contact them hopefully as well to come and rescue me if I need it. But um, it's always good to be safe. So I've got my little map of Berlin as well. All right, let's pop these over here. Let's move these up here so we can see what else we've got. I don't think I've got anything else in the back pockets, no. So that's what else have we got here? So, right, we shall take out the journal and the sticker supply. This is the little printer that I've got. This is a travel water bottle. I shall show you that in a second. What else have I got? I've got some Tombow markers, some scissors, a glue stick, and some sellotape. I think that is everything in here. Yes, yeah, so we'll put the pouch over there for a second. Right, let's go through what we've got here. Right, first of all, this is the little Canon um, printer, mini printer, basically, that takes this paper. Um, so you basically just load it in here. You use an app on your phone. Sorry, my cat is just knocking things off the desk. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's trying to get to some treats. So you load this in here. You use an app on your phone. You, you take the photos that you want to, and you basically just load it into the app, and then they print out these little photographs. It's really, really, and they're really cute, and they basically can stick. They've got sticky backs on these, so they just stick straight into your journal. It's really, really cute and handy um, for photos that you might want to actually stick in. 
this um, water bottle, I got it because it's nice and slim, obviously it fits in the pouch and that's not going to take up loads of room in my bag. Um, water for both myself um, to drink if I need it, if I'm out and about, but also water if I need it for, for, for doing watercolours. So I've got a little bit of water to tip into a, a cup and then uh, we've got something for watercolours. I'm still waiting. Sorry, I'm just trying to stop my cat from being an annoying little bugger. Um, I'm still waiting on a little uh, kind of portable cup that you can kind of collapse um, arriving. So when that does, that will go in the pouch as well. So we'll put that over there. Right, what have we got here? Okay, well, you know, self-explanatory, a glue stick to glue bits and pieces in, some sellotape. These are little scissors that I saw, which I think are okay to travel with. Um, that I see a lot of people using online basically um, for just snipping washi tape, snipping bits and pieces if you need it. Um, yes, I'm hoping I don't get these removed from me on uh, when I travel because I'm not um, putting any bags in the hold and basically it's, it's hand luggage only that I'm going with. I might pay for um, luggage to go in the hold when I come back if I end up buying loads of supplies in Berlin, which is possible. Um, I will probably pay for it and then I guess it won't matter, but I'm hoping these don't get taken off me. I'm not sure how secure or how uh, chronic security is in Germany, so we shall see. And I've got some Tombow markers, my two favourite colours, pale pink and pale green. Oh, sorry, just my cat's being annoying. <laughs> She's being so annoying, she wants attention. Uh, right, hopefully she has distracted herself with some food. Yes, she has. Okay, right. Yeah, sorry, Tombow markers, two favourite colours, pale pink, pale green, which I'll be using just for highlights and stuff in the actual journal. So this little elasticated clip is handy for keeping everything together. I can't remember where I got that, but it's very, very handy. Um, this is a little pouch of stickers, and this is the actual journal itself. So this is a... Right, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to just deal with my cat quickly. So yes, I'm giving my cat some treats so that she can stop pestering me. I mean, she probably won't. She'll probably still come over here and walk over everything so that she can make sure that I know that she needs treats because, of course, cats need attention all the time. Anyway, this is my travel journal. It is a, um, can you hurry up, please? Right. <laughs> right, start again. So this is my little travel journal. It's a B6 size, which is really nice and compact. It's um, it's kind of one of my favorite sizes actually. Of I've got A5 Stalogies as well, but this is a really, really nice size, especially for fitting in the pouch and for taking, for traveling with me. So good size. Stalogy is a company, I think, um, I think they might be a Japanese company, I'm not sure. But the paper is super thin. It's got a kind of a grid pattern on it. Um, it's really lovely for fountain pens and it works quite well for kind of um, using like a bit of watercolor or, or, or paint or stuff on it. It's, it doesn't crinkle too badly, but actually I quite like crinkled paper, so that's good. Um, the cover of it, I've obviously put loads of stickers on it, but then I've got like this plastic cover, which comes from a company called Lauren Phelp, PhelpsDesigns.com. It's an American company. She does these little covers. And there are obviously like little pouches and things you can kind of put put things in, which I haven't actually done yet. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's, I'm just going to cover that. Um, so yeah, there are kind of pouches and stuff in here and in the back that you can kind of just covering my, my details. Um, and in the back you can kind of slip things into if you need to, which is handy, I guess, if I've collected any ephemera and I need to kind of put it in there. So yeah, I've kind of pre-decorated. Minx is back because she wants to know where the treats are. So anyway, I've pre-kind of decorated a bit of this journal so that I can um, kind, of, kind of get ahead. I, like, I don't like to just have a completely blank um, journal and page to kind of work with. So this is, uh, uh, this is what I've started off with and I'm sure I will stick more things in. This is kind of like I'm traveling, you know, when I'm traveling, etc. Um, from London to Berlin. Again, I shall just put those details hidden so you can't quite see. Um, and then I kind of started putting things in so that I can um, get excited about going, really. <laughs> this is obviously the U-Bahn. Uh, 
the U-Bahn. I'm not quite sure how you say it, but anyway, there we go. Did a little, little sketch. I'm hoping to do quite a few sketches in here, actually, because it's nice when you've got sketches and not just kind of stickers and tapes and things like that. So I've done a few pages to start off with. These are empty, obviously, apart from the stickers. And I will fill these as I go. I expect that by the time I actually start filling things in and putting some you know, travel ephemera in it, I will do less of the pre-decorating and just allow um, the collection of things that I actually gather as I'm traveling to kind of just build up and get get posted in. As you can see, I haven't done tons of pages, just a few. So that's just an, an idea of kind of how I'm going to use it. These are like various stickers that I've got. Let's just put this over here for now. I've obviously got lots of little travel ones. I've got some cat ones. I've got some, you know, Berlin ones as well. Um, I've got some kind of witchy ones because obviously I'm going in October. It is October, so it's, it's witchy season. And I've got some pip stick stickers, some bits and pieces. I've got some bits of papers and stuff in the back here um, and other stickers as well. So lots of lovely things to take with me. Um, and that are that is my um, my journaling supplies. So um, I hope you've enjoyed having a little look at what I'm taking with me. Um, yeah. What? So I hope you enjoyed that little kit run through. Um, I am going to most likely do a video or a vlog of my time in Berlin, and uh, and kind of take you through the things I saw and the places I visited and all the sketching that I did. I think what I'll probably do is a separate. Um, sketchbook tour or a kind of journal travel journal tour of um, the both the sketchbook and the travel journal that I use while I'm in Berlin but um, yeah I will definitely keep you updated uh, with how I get on in Berlin and I'm really really looking forward to it I can't actually wait it's going to be very very good anyway I uh, hope you're all well and I'll see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>